Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. And on the screen right now, we are in the middle of doing a really bad burn because I hadn't realized we're actually going past our periaps. Um, the, the crew are very happy about the whole experience. And I was talking about doing a rendezvous with this, but actually right now, I need to save this from uh, a fate worse than death. We need to get to orbit. So we're going to rescue this and I'm not going to have as much fuel as I thought I was going to have. So we may not be doing the rendezvous with this craft. So let's just see, shall we? So we're going to resume the flight. Right, I need to uh, I need to actually burn upwards right now, and I know that this thing will run out of electricity because it's what it does. There we go. We're going to need to fight against gravity just a little bit, just a little bit of fighting against gravity there. That's all we need to do, just to slow ourselves down. We just need that descent to just just a little. What's my relative surface? Okay, I just need this to slow down ever so little, and I know that this is quite heavy, so this is gonna take a little bit of oh the police are going past now or an ambulance i think you could probably hear them in the background it's probably because they've heard i'm about to crash here oh there we go right so now we have it and we're going to do a circularization properly this time so we'll do a little burn like so and we're in to the orbit there we go right we're in orbit what do i get for that so um completed that numerous things right we've done the that was the previous one right vip destination one and back, how, how is it back? Oh, because it's, it's a subsection. So we've got 3,000 for that, and then I think it was 11. So we, we're gonna make a few thousand from this trip. Um, potentially I have enough Delta V to do a rendezvous no matter where it is, but let's actually have a look. If I'm equatorial, if I'm really equatorial. Oh, I'm so tempted. How close do you have to get? How close do you have to get? Have, uh, have two vessels in orbit of Kerbin within visible range of each other and kill their relative velocity to achieve this goal. I do it. I'm going to put a tour. I'm going to put another tourist up. I'm not because I don't have a thing. Um, right. Ah. Now, of course. I wonder, it just says two vessels. I wonder if we actually uh, separated something off this, it would be fine. That was interesting. That's maybe a missed thing, a missed opportunity there. I think we're gonna bring this down and then I'm going to try cheaty McCheat cheat on the next bit. I have an idea, um, but it is very, very cheaty. So let's bring this back down. Um, actually, you know what? I would really like it if we landed somewhere around the uh, there. So we're gonna to come to about there. Of course, I don't have maneuver nodes, so we're just going to uh, timey wimey warp it. And we'll come around to about here and then we'll do our retrograde burn and whatnot. Um, where do I want it to be? Probably about, about here. Yeah, about there. That's probably too far, but we'll do it anyway. It, 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 it potentially would give us some more cash back when we when we land. So retrograde, please, because I've got a pilot on board. I really need the, um, yeah, I really need the, Thank you very much, a bit more. I really need the um, <laughs> the probe cores right now or another pilot. Uh, what I was hoping to do was actually, and we'll just time warp this. I was hoping to get, um, I was hoping to get a rescue mission was actually what I was aiming for. I thought if we get a rescue mission, um, we can actually use that to, um, to get ourselves more Kerbals. But I've just realized until you can do the orbital rendezvous and docking and stuff it will probably not give me the rescue missions so that's a potential problem isn't it um yes that is a potential problem i suppose i should probably decouple that right now um yeah i suppose i should let's get rid of it I and mean, let's not waste our time with stuff and things good thing about this is i do have extra electric charge because i've got two pods so that's a bonus um, it'd be interesting to see how close we actually get to uh, to the destination here. Now, of course, we've got these here, so I'm wondering that the the heat shield is quite heavy. Um, it'll be interesting to see if if it actually flips out, and because you've got all this mass on one end and only that bit on the other, it'd be interesting to see if it flips out with those, or whether the heat shield actually counterbalances. I think the heat shield should counterbalance it. And what I should have done is put another set of parachutes here, just a a standard parachute, just in case we turn over or we flip. Um, but I haven't done that. Um, oh, we're actually coming in over the sea. So this is the uh, the desert just before the KSC bit of land. So the KSC sort of 
outcropping should be here. I don't think we're going to make it to it. We're probably going to end up ditching in the water, I think. Oh, we're getting a little view there of things and stuff. And the reaction wheels on this should be should be strong enough to pretty much stop any problems whatsoever. Um, because, oh, we're, ooh, now we might make it to the land. We're definitely too low down to get over the mountains, so we're going to land on this side at least. We might we might make it to the grassland here. Um, possibly, yeah, I think we should actually. We're, we're, we're losing speed, but not too quickly. We're, we're staying up in the atmosphere. Um, what's my ablator like? Uh, it'd be interesting actually, because I, I, one of the things you can do is actually, oh, we might actually make it over there. This is going a lot faster than I thought it was actually. Um, you can actually lighten the ablator. The reason I have not done that to save Delta V and stuff is because, um, oh, this is better than I thought. These mountains look so much better now, don't they? Um, because I actually need the mass at the bottom. Uh, because I want it to be, to, you know, aerodynamically, dynamically stable this way. If I reduce the amount of ablator there, potentially this becomes uh, a problem. Um, I suppose I should fire a parachute. There we go. Um, and I should probably know when the land is coming. Would be a good idea. Um, they do that. And we're going to hold like that. Okay. Is it using electric charge? Ah, it is using electric charge. It's stabilizing with a bit of electric charge. There we go. It's doing a wobble now. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to come down. Um, we'll go down a bit faster. I get down to about ooh, now. And then I'll deploy that one. And then we can speed down a bit more. There we go. We may have actually rescued a tourist. Unless the pod explodes on touchdown, which is not going to happen because we're seven meters per second. So we may actually have managed to do a mission thing. Woohoo, look at that. You have no idea how much my heart just jumped then. Seriously. Seriously, you two. Not acceptable. Right, recover. Oh. <sighs> Now we should get money for that. I'm, I'm hoping we get money for that. I don't see if we did anything wrong. They are back on the planet Kerbin. I'm assuming that's their home. It said return home, unless they live on the moon. We got one thing for returning a vessel from the orbit of Kerbin. Oh, that's nice. Um, got some funds. I don't even know if we made money out of that, actually. Parameter completed, 11,000. Um, VIP destination, we got a bit more, got a bit more. What is that as funds? We got funds and a little bit of reputation. So we're now in the but you can see we were actually in the yellow before because of the um, untimely issue with tourists. Um, stopped asking to fly by the moon. I don't want to take you to the moon. That's just crazy. Um, fly by the moon. Everybody wants to go to the moon and you give them nothing for it. Right. Um, we've got seven minutes. Let's put together a craft because I have an idea. And this is cheaty. And I know it's cheaty. I know it's so so unbelievably cheaty it's actually unbelievable but i'm going to do this we're going to put a going to open the communitron going to put uh, one of those there i want a decoupler put you there thank you put you on there wonderful i'm going to put a communitron uh two three of them three of them like so there you go um Oh, can I? Oh, ejection force needs to be zero. That's the one. And I need a parachute because I just realized I almost forgot to put a parachute on this thing, didn't I? So we'll stick a parachute on the back. I need the one of them. Like so, gonna cover the flag. It's not, it's not great, but we'll let it go. Um, and you know what? I want this to be the other way around for reasons. Yeah, that's right for reasons um, are they not touching are they no right so this is uh, cheaty one there we go cheaty one save that check my pilot is in bold yes you are save the launch heat. now uh, is that right that's right side boosters that there that that there oh ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, we separate those out a bit right i want that one's first and then that one and then we're going to have those two. There we go. Right. Let's get this thing going. Launchy McLaunch launch, launch. Okay, so I've got five and a half minutes to get this into orbit. I'm probably not going to get into orbit, but we actually don't need to do much. We just need to be in orbit. I just need to get into orbit, then do my task. And we'll know if this is oh, so wobbly. I need struts. I actually need to... I, I, how have I not got struts yet? It's the question I've got to ask myself. Um, and I've done that thing again where I've... Just do, do that, do that a bit. There we go. Nope, too far. 
too far. Go back the other way. Go back the other way. Go back. Go back. There we go. That's the one. Yep, yep, hold it there. There you go. No. No. Uh, no. 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 Um, I want that one. No, that one. That's the control I want. There we go. That's better. Right. So hopefully that's terrible. That is actually the worst orbital sort of path I could ever have asked for. That is absolutely disgusting. It's foul. Right. Get over. Get over now. Get over. Right. So the aim is get this into orbit. I know this costs too much money, but we're gonna we're going to do that mission, I hope. I've got I've got to I've got to do it in actual fact. Right, get rid of those. Thank you very much. They hit each other because they don't hit me, so that's fine. Right. Now we're going to take this up and I've got four minutes. You know what? I could actually get this into orbit in four minutes. And just burn really, really intensely in the worst way possible. Um, you know what? Get that down. Get there. I'm actually facing completely the wrong way, aren't I? This is this is purely I'm actually not even really looking at them and nav ball now. I'm just doing this. Alright. Go on. Get up there. Get up. 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 Um, oh, a bit more of that actually. There we go. Uh, I don't mind my app apps getting too much more. I could just do that. There we go. Perfect. Got a bit of this there now. Now of course we do have limited electricity and electric charge, so we have to be aware of that. Uh, go up a bit. Think. No, down a bit. Thank you. I have these controls are upside down now for me, so that's something I need to remember. We're going to get ourselves into orbit. Um, I'm going to go up to about the 90s. It's not going to take much more to do this. Right, and then we need this mission. Now, can I get this done in, in this episode? That'd be quite good. We'll do the return in the next episode, potentially. Should I be allowing the returns to happen in between episodes? Or do you think I should be showing everything? Should I be showing absolutely everything in the missions? I do not know. I did say I was going to show anything. I did say it was going to be uncut. So maybe maybe that's... that's I have to. I suppose I have to, don't I? Right. Come on. Come on. Get me in orbit. Get me in orbit. Get me in orbit. Get me in orbit. A little bit more, a little bit more. Come on. Ooh, uh, uh, do that. And come on. Come on. Good. Just get up there. There we go. I'm in orbit. Right. Are we now in orbit? I'm assuming I am. So let's try this. There you go. Two vessels. It's two vessels. Unable to transmit Y. Extend, ant extend antennae. There you go. Give me some data. Um, I can't do anything. Right. Rendezvous. Two vessels in Kerbin orbit. I bet you have to have Kerbals on them. I bet you have to have Kerbals. Right. You know what we're going to do? We do that. I'm going to set that as a target. And we're going to do something a little cheaty. I'm going to go prograde. So that didn't work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of uh, thingy. Yeah, let's try that. Let's go out of Space Center. And then let's go back to the craft and see if it's achieved it. Um, and that's not at all cheaty, cheaty, McCheaty. So anybody, if you know actually, does this mission require... I don't think it says so. Does this mission require that you actually... Um, Launch two separate craft. It doesn't say it, I don't think. So I don't know. You'll have to tell me that. Um, so what we will do is the target is. Oh, I wonder if I can just uh, come closer to it. Maybe you have to be at a, a greater velocity to it, and then you have to, you know, come come within visual range. So let's do a bit of tiny, bit like that. Close up on it. There we go. And then we're going to turn around. Of course, my power is going to die soon. There we go. What's it? it basically just says, have two different vessels in orbit of Kerbin within visual range of each other and kill their relative velocity to achieve this goal. Okay. So I just got to kill my relative velocity. Well, how does it know if I've killed my relative velocity? I suppose it must tag these as being sub parts of each other. Right. So I think we have potentially failed that one, but it was worth it was worth a little it was worth a little cheeky try, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, we did do the, the tourist rescue one. We, we've got this one up. I'll bring this down at the start of the next episode. And uh, from me, until next time, have a great one. <laughs>